like an idea from someone that I was watching. I saw him do it, and I actually think I like the look of it, but I don't know how it's gonna work being like a porch thing. Um, I might do it once and see how it looks. If I like it, we'll do it at the other corners. But I don't know if I'm gonna like it. We do need wooden railings eventually. Because I want to put railings around the porch. Or around the front deck area. Not getting any fiber. It really turned into just a base building session. Come on, I need fiber, not berries. Usually I'm like, I need berries, not fiber. <laughs> right now I'm the other way around. Remember last time when we had an almost an entire large chest full of fiber? And we were just like, I don't, I don't need this, just toss it on the ground. I don't need this, just toss it on the ground. <laughs> oh, how I wish I had the fiber now. How did we end up with so much fiber anyways? Probably hunting from, probably trying to get narco berries when we could have just been using conehead. Being smart about it this time. What level are you? You're level 16 and a male. I don't need you. Oh yeah, we should have plenty of fiber. We have 330 fiber again. Save those, those, and those. Don't need those. Uh, I'll hold on to the stones. And you've leveled up again. Awesome. Wrong one. Wait. I'm trying to get after myself. Uh, I just had to shift in my chair. I've been getting after myself because I've been slouching so much. It's starting to make my back hurt. Alright. Now we can get back to building. Let's see. I need one, two, three, six, three, five, nine, thirteen. I'm trying to do math in my head. Thirteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Twenty one. Twenty one walls. And then eight more ceilings. Something like that. I don't know how much we can actually make. I'll just dump those in there. Wow, we can actually move with all that stuff? That's a surprise. 22 walls. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Let's see, put those in there. Put those in there. Go ahead and make some, some uh, narcotics. And we still need to make another sloped, a couple more sloped walls. So let's see. Craftables. Wall. We can make 32 of them. We're going to make 21 of them for now. Because I know I need that many. So let's see. Wall there. Wall there. I can't get up. Ah, I guess I gotta wait. I forgot. For some reason, this guy can't get up a slope or get up a thing. I oh, yes! We did it! How can we trick this one? Nope. How do we trick it? Hit it at just the right angle? I guess you gotta hit it at just that right angle for it to work. We're hopping. Ah, yes, we're up. Okay. So. Wall. 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 It's all walls all around the first level, or the first layer. 
Well, the good news is those extra slope walls that I made will actually come in handy because I do need them. Wall, wall. Oh, we're actually out of walls. What number did I say? 21? Damn, I'm good. <laughs> I know my math. Congratulations, me. Alright, got all that. So this is going to be a bit of a storage room because it's going to be, we're just going to fill it up with chests on this side. And then this side is going to be like uh, refining forges and a campfires and a something else. I don't know. I, I don't know yet. Maybe a cooking thing for kibble. Then, as we come down here... Oh, no. That's what I'm going to do up here. It's going to be all storage ca storage crates on this side up to about here. Then it's going to be refining forges in this corner. Maybe three or four of them. However many I can fit over here with the, with the storage boxes. Then on this... Okay. On this side, I might have a couple more refining forges right here. Then a couple of campfires. And then, like, four preserving bins. And that'll be my storage room. So, let's go ahead. We need to grab those things from downstairs. We need one, two more walls. We can just press the button for those. All right, making those. We're almost level whatever we are now. Let's grab those. We'll go ahead and grab those as well. Can we move? Yeah, we can move. So, we need walls here and here. And we need a wall there. <laughs> we'll do it like that. Now that looks kind of goofy, but you can't really do anything about it. <laughs> Are you going to tell me that I'm going to have to jump every time to get up that? No. Okay. Now we should be done with that for now. That's all right. Which means you are a left. There we go. I've got ceilings, but we're going to make the ones for over here. Which means I need one of the left left oh, are you not gonna let it do it that way oh there we go left and a right just made an extra one by accident There we go, got that. And now we're just gonna start placing ceilings like crazy in here. So, got it. ceiling, 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 ceiling. We get those placed. That is not where you go. <laughs> I hate that it actually lets you do that. I think we need one over here. Yeah, just one. And the rest is all sloped ceilings. And I think we are officially out of resources. We are out of thatch. That is fixable. So let's go get more thatch. I'll throw that in there even though I really don't need it. Grab the rest of our stuff out of here since I've completely forgotten about it. Now, we 
we will go get more thatch. That's not what I want. That's what I want. Okay. We need thatch. Oh. So, after this, we're going to start making all the storage stuff and the campfires and whatnot and that stuff. I think eventually this thing, this uh, base may change a bit to compensate for upgrades and everything. But I don't know what to do at this point. I'm just preparing for what we need now. I think when we get when we get to the point that we gotta make wood to upgrade all this, I'll probably just do a giant time lapse of that. I wonder if I can borrow my brother. Or borrow his login stuff. Gift him the game. Or borrow my friend. And have her come in and just kind of stand there as a as a camera for the base uh, replacement stuff because I can actually hopefully invite her in on this world if I do things right maybe okay that should be enough stuff and ask her if I can use her as a camera then I can do like a I don't know if you guys watch the escapist videos I do but the last one I just put up this this week on uh, March 1st oh man that is the most editing I've ever done in a video because I put a picture in picture of a map and then like drew little dots and lines and stuff so I was I was showing what the plan was to get out and oh man was that fun we don't have the thatch we also need to make six doors uh... thatch 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 uh, we'll take the wood as well and that why don't you guys stack seriously so we need to make some doors we need to finish making sloped roofs how many can we make? Sloped thatch roof. We can make 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we're making that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll have the doors. Oops, I need to put it here. One, two, three, four. What? How do you make seven? One, two, three. Now let's put our doors in place. Need a door there, door there, door over here. door here and a door here. There we go. Those are more just for looks. <laughs> it's nice to be able to actually have doors for stuff. You open it that way. And you will... You'll probably never actually get opened. Oh, that's going to take bunch of stuff and it doesn't extend out all the way ooh 
So my idea for the for doing this porch kind of thing was originally putting door frames. But I forgot that that doesn't quite extend the way I thought it did. I don't know. Let's level up. Level 17 now. We're collecting points. Parasaur, get out of the way. That's our base. Looks a little weird. Probably is a little weird. But hey, it'll work. And it's unique. <laughs> So, let's go ahead and come inside. We need to start moving some stuff around. We need to... The bed needs to actually move to right here. There's going to be a pair of storage chests over here. One for gear, one for tools. And then this room is going to have the smithy, the fabricator, which should fit. And a mortar and pestle like right by the door or maybe right behind the door if it'll cooperate or I might do a little line of mortar and pestles over here but that's gonna be in that's gonna be that room that's its purpose is it's gonna be a construction room but it is gonna be a little bit annoying having to run all the way up here to get resources we have not put the door here awesome now it's kind of weird how that has like char marks or whatever like burn marks but none of the other stuff does just those that and the thatched door frames look darker than the rest it has like black accent to it I don't understand why it's like they just took the texture and squeezed it or something I don't know. It just doesn't look right to me. So let's... So let's see. We need to make storage chests. We need to make, I don't know, like 10 of them. I'll stop my head. What do they require? Wood. Storage. Large storage box. 25 fiber. Great. We're going to have to go hunt for a lot of that. 50 wood and 35 thatch. We are really going to have to clear out some of this forest. So this is going to be a bit of a long stretch for getting all this stuff actually set up. And we're also going to go get all the stuff we need to make, like five mortar and pestle to put in that room, as well as making a new bed. Oh, so we need like ten of them, I said? Let me think really quick. We've got stone, wood, thatch, fiber, flint. Stone, wood, thatch, fiber, flint. Hide. Titan, keratin. Narcotics, stimulants, bug repellent. Those I'll probably just put in a regular chest somewhere. Um. Spark powder and gunpowder, because we'll be needing those later. Metal. <laughs> and probably a miscellaneous. Plus the two in the main in the bedroom. That's thirteen. Wait. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What am I missing here? I need a piece of paper. You're perfect. I always keep paper and pens around. Let's see. Stone, wood, thatch, 
fiber, flint, metal, hide, chitin, keratin, miscellaneous, tools, gear, freaking hair and stuff got on here, um, saddles, or if I start kibble farm or anything, I'm really trying to think here, narcotics, stems, and gunpowder, not gunpowder, bug repellent, there you go, spark powder and gunpowder. That was the one I was missing. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 large storage boxes and a regular one. Which I might make it a, a large storage box, so 14. We need 14 of these things. That's 700 wood. It's only 350 fiber. We went through a lot more than that just making the base. We have narco berries on us. Let's go ahead and get all the fiber we need. You know, since we can carry that the entire time. And I have no idea how much thatch, but we should have we will have absolutely no problem making the getting the thatch for that. Mr. Uh, Miss Parasaur over here is great at collecting thatch for us. So that's 700 wood, 350 fiber, and 35, uh, 175, 525 thatch, something like that. Yeah, 525. Let's see. Oh, I guess we don't need the door on our thing anymore. And we need to make another spear. And we don't have any flint to make a new pickaxe. New pickaxe, new axe. When it breaks, because it is going to break. Especially if we're collecting 700 wood. We're going to have to take the parasaur a little bit deeper into the woods. Okay, that should be plenty of... Fiber. We got 168 fiber. That is nowhere near enough. <sighs> Imagine the challenge of actually rebuilding the base out of wood and then stone for some stuff. I'm not going to make the entire thing out of stone. What was I picking over there? Y'all guys will have to let me know what you think about this whole, uh, me recording long sessions, because I actually really like it. It's just the problem is me actually editing them. <laughs> like, sometimes I'll be like, ooh, I want to play, I want to play, I want to play, and then I just don't feel like editing. I'm just like, eh, that's boring. Can I do something else? That's honestly my one of my least favorite parts right now is the editing because the playing part is actually really fun and I don't have the skill to do any of the fancy editing of like editing adding in big sound effects and stuff and adding in fun details or any of that kind of stuff or zooming in on people or things running around. I don't have that skill right now. I might be able to, but I don't know. It's a new video editor for me, which I've been using for like the past month or so. I'm still learning all kinds of new stuff with it. Like that picture-in-picture -picture for the map on an escapist. I just figured out how to do that like last week. Alright, that should be plenty of fiber. We now have 450 fiber. Let's dump the rest of this stuff out since we don't really need it. Well, hold on to the narco berry. Oh, we need that one actually. We're going to hold on to some of these seeds because we're going to end up needing them. So we'll dump the azelberry, tintoberry, and stemberry. Don't need the amberberry. 
We do need the rock carrot. We definitely need that one. Because that is one of the ones we need for... No, we need that. That is one of the ones that we need for... Kibble. So we'll put those in there. And now we can say... Craft 2. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of wood. Let's get a... Let's get some flint. Hello. Almost walked straight into you. That would have been horrible. Just need a couple of flint. There we go. Now we're good. It is so freaking dark. I have the gamma turned up too. Okay. We gotta get deeper into the forest. Hello, Gigantopithecus. Do not hurt me. It is so dark. What's our gamma at? We're going to raise it up to four so we can actually see. There we go. Now we can see what's going on. Oh, so we have everything else we need. We just need to get collect all the wood. I always think I'm using like the metal pick. The metal sword and, and uh, axe and stuff. Metal sword. I'm thinking of other things now. Oh, I am so out of it with uh, trying to figure out what I'm saying. Okay, we're encumbered. That's good. That means we have stuff. Let's go ahead and make some of these. So I said thir 13, 14? Where's my list? I lost my list already. I just had it in front of me. That's where I put it. Okay. I have my list. Need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 14. We need 10. So as soon as those are ready, we're going to put those in the, the Parasaur's inventory so we can move around a bit. And what are we missing? Thatch, of all things. Just so we can keep moving around at a decent speed. We're going to dump those in there. We're going to collect more wood, since we absolutely need wood. And then once we get to a point that we're actually out of thatch and we still have a lot of wood, then we'll get on the parasaur and get more thatch. Which by then, we will probably be... have everything we need. Well, there's our flint. Because we're doing great on uh, collecting wood, but we're collecting like almost no thatch from these trees. So I was expecting a little bit more thatch, but what can you do? Sometimes the tree gives you thatch, sometimes it doesn't. Break tree. There we go. Now I can make some more. I can make one. <laughs> How did I know it was going to do that? Aha! Another level! Stamina. Alright. Thatch time! Collect all the thatch we can get. Plus, we're getting more wood at the same time. Not much, but we're getting some. Now, the problem with this is that the Parasaur is going to get, like, really heavily burdened. And that was going to slow everything down. So we're going to collect a bunch of thatch and hopefully still be able to move. You'll also notice I'm kind of moving along so we're, don't, we're not exactly clear cutting the forest. <laughs> just a force of habit that I've done is like just follow a path through the trees or whatever so you're not not clear-cutting everything. 
which I seem to like to do. Regain your stamina. Break the tree. Okay. Now, we've got five of them made. Let's take all of this thatch and the wood. See how many more we can make. We can make six! We only need three more. Awesome. But I don't know what we're gonna run out of. So let's collect a little more thatch. Then it's gonna be the fun part of actually like filling all this storage stuff with resources. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna come back and just clear cut whole sections of this forest for wood and thatch. 